the price of crystal sugar is rupees 50 per kg whereas the price of fine grain sugar is rupees 70 per kg in what ratio both crystal sugar and fine grain sugar are mixed to obtain a mixture of rupees 65 per kg you can figure out the answer after this lecture hello this is pranay sai and in this lecture we shall make an effort to understand the concept of mixture or allegation Firstly, let us know the concept followed by the categories and then solution to the questions. What does this allegation mean? For instance, let's take two ingredients namely type A and type B. These can be two different varieties of ingredients or of similar kind. Well, each ingredient has a certain price, isn't it? So, these two ingredients are mixed in such a way that a mixture of desired price is obtained. Therefore, in allegation, we shall find out the proportions of ingredients which are mixed to obtain the mixture of desired price. In order to achieve the proportions, a standard method known as rule of allegation is used. Let's try to understand the rule of allegation. The first one is the cost price of unit quantity of cheaper ingredient among the two ingredients given in the question. And this one is cost price of unit quantity of dearer ingredient among the two. And what is mean price? Mean price is a cost price of unit quantity of mixture which is obtained from the two ingredients. So let's say this has C, this has D and this has M. Keep in mind that D is greater than M and m is greater than c therefore in order to achieve the ratio the mean price should be subtracted from the dearer quantity and the cheaper quantity is subtracted from the mean price so d minus m is to m minus c so this is how we can find the ratio of ingredients using rule of allegation if two ingredients are mixed then quantity of cheaper by quantity of dearer is equal to cost price of dearer minus mean price by mean price minus cost price of cheaper. Let's understand the categorization of questions in allegation concept. Type 1. To find the ratio or quantity of ingredients. For example, in what ratio must a grocer mix two varieties of pulses costing rupees 15 and rupees 20 per kg respectively so as to get a mixture worth rupees 16.50 per kg here we were asked to find out the ratio of mixing these two ingredients in order to get a mixture of this desired price we can solve this by using rule of allegation now type 2 to find the price of mixture or any ingredient let's say the cost of type 1 rice is rupees 15 per kg and type 2 rice is rupees 20 per kg. If both type 1 and type 2 are mixed in the ratio 2 is to 3, then price per kg of the mixed variety of rice is. In this case, the price of two ingredients are given and the proportion is also given. And we need to find the price of the mixture. Like what we have did in type 1 questions, we can solve this by using rule of allegation. Type 3 repeated operations questions 8 liters are drawn from a vessel full of wine and is then filled with water this operation is performed three more times the ratio of quantity of wine now left in the vessel to that of water is 16 is to 65 how much wine did the vessel hold originally in this case we can find some operation or activity is being performed n number of times we have a formula for this type of questions and I'll explain you when we solve these problems. Firstly, let's solve an example in type 1. From the rule of allegation, we know that the cost price of cheaper ingredient should be written here and the cost price of dearer ingredient should be written here and the mean price over here and we can obtain the ratio here. Rupees 15 is a cheaper price of the ingredient and rupees 20 is a dearer price of the ingredient 
and the mean price is 16.50 and we have to calculate d minus m and m minus c therefore on subtracting we will be getting 3.50 here and 1.50 here therefore the required ratio is 3.50 is to 1.50 that is 35 is to 15 and the ratio obtained is 7 is to 3 that is how we can solve the questions and allegations using rule of allegation let's solve another question to have a better picture in what ratio must a grocer mix two varieties of tea worth rupees 60 a kg and rupees 65 a kg so that by selling the mixture at rupees 68.20 a kg he may gain 10 percent to solve this given that the selling price is rupees 68.20 the gain obtained is 10 percent when he sold the mixture at this price now what is the formula to determine the cost price of unit quantity of a mixture this is how you can find out the cost price of unit quantity of a mixture on substituting the values in this 100 by 100 plus 10 into 68.20 on solving this you will be getting rupees 62 as mean price is a cost price of unit quantity of mixture this value is known as m that is mean price the cost price of cheaper ingredient is rupees 60 and the cost price of dearer ingredient is 65 and the mean price we have obtained is 62 and therefore the ratios are 3 is to 2 that is d minus m and m minus c therefore the ratio in which the grocer need to mix these ingredients is 3 is to 2 type 2 the cost of type 1 rice is rupees 15 per kg and type 2 rice is rupees 20 per kg if both type 1 and type 2 are mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 then price per kg of the mixed variety of rice is firstly let's assume the price of mixed variety as x the price of mixed variety is nothing but mean price therefore m is equal to x now by using the rule of allegation the cost price of cheaper ingredient is 15 and the cost price of dearer ingredient is 20 and we have assumed the mean price as x therefore d minus m would be 20 minus x and m minus c would be x minus 15 this is the ratio which we have obtained but what is the ratio which is already given that is 2 by 3 therefore 20 minus x by x minus 15 is equal to 2 by 3 on solving this you will be getting 60 minus 3x is equal to 2x minus 30 therefore 5x is equal to 90 and x will be 18 so finally the price per kg of the mixed variety of rice is 18 rupees which is also known as the mean price before solving the repeated operation problems let's understand the concept behind it first suppose a vessel contains x units of certain liquid and from which certain amount let's say y units are taken out and finally replaced with water if this particular process happens n number of times then quantity of liquid can be determined by x into 1 minus y by x power n now solution becomes easy a container contains 40 liters of milk from this container 4 liters of milk was taken out and replaced with water this process was repeated further two times how much milk is now contained in the container let's solve this from the first statement the container actually contained 40 liters of milk so x is equal to 40 and 4 liters was taken out therefore y is equal to 4 and that was replaced with water and repetition of this operation took two more times the third statement suggests that this process was repeated further two times it means that 
it has already happened once and it also happened further two times therefore the number of operations is 3 is asking for how much milk is contained in the container therefore it means that it is quantity of milk in the container and how do we determine the quantity of milk by using the formula that is quantity is equal to x into 1 minus y by x power n we know the values and we need to substitute therefore 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 power 3 on simplification you will be getting 40 into 9 by 10 whole cube and this on simplification you will be getting 29.16 liters that's it hope you have understood this concept prepare and perform well thank you